All right, so we are out doing some exploring and uh, checking out new potential areas. We are in a very high gold bearing area. And what we're looking for is any signs of mineral and gold. So we know gold is running with quartz in this area quite often. So we're basically just going for a drive and if we see anything interesting, stopping, pulling over and taking a look. So here you got a buggy piece of quartz. We found another sample, actually the first sample we grabbed, which has some gold in it. So this is most likely considered a low to medium grade. A little bit of uh, gold in there. This piece is a bit better. You can actually see visible gold here uh, running with silver. And there's a slight iron content in this. So I don't know if you can see all that right in there. Silver, bit of gold on the end. Just a grab sample on the side of the road. So we just went a bit further and you can see quartz vein, small little quartz veins all throughout and that's generally where you find the mineralization or gold in this area. So my prospecting partner is going to head down there and take a look, see what he can find, pull a chip sample off a couple of those veins. So further over here I'm going to take a chip sample and uh, I'll see you over there. So got my chip samples, got a grab sample. Here's just some of the veins there, and right behind me. Here's a bit of a close-up for you folks. So that's sort of what we're going to be looking at. You're going to have to come back here at a later date. But today we're just driving around, exploring some new claims. Alright, see you back up there. So my prospecting partner brought up all those samples. So far, we've hammered open a few. Not seeing any visible gold. Occasional speck of iron pyrite. Last sample here. Nice big hunk. Just a grab sample from the creek. So mineral is really spotty in these samples. One speck right there, which is actually silver. So there's hundreds and hundreds of quartz veins in this area, but few are mineralized, so we're basically just trying to find ones that are. Grab sample here. Got some silver in there with fine green iron pyrite. Okay, another piece of quartz here, but take a look at this. You have native copper all throughout here. See that big hunk right there? Really nice looking sample. can see more copper in there. Really nice looking. So there's a good chance there's a bit of gold in here. Looked like a few specks on the jeweler's loop, but really hard to confirm. Okay, so we have a exposed schistosargolitic 
oat crop here with quartz veins running all throughout. We got some pretty decent looking samples here uh, which have visible calcopyrite and copper. So we'll bag this sample. So we got more quartz veins here, stringers all throughout. I'm gonna pull a bunch of samples off here and hammer them. All right, so we got a sample here over this entire exposure. Five different grab samples. Here we have more exposed quartz and a little bit of oxidization on the rocks. So loads and loads of quartz here. We're going to pull a sample and see if there's any mineral, any gold in this. Multiple quartz stringers running through here. All right, we got two samples here one with little bits of native silver could be some gold in there but pretty hard to tell with a jeweler's loop and we got more silver here nice big hunk right there in the middle looks like there's a little bit of uh, arsenopyrite running with it But a couple decent samples. Alright, so we got more samples here. Really hard to see. Lots of fine gold. All in there. So finding a lot of these samples in this creek here. So running through this creek, you can see the oxidization on all the all the rock. You can see you have stringers of quartz all throughout. So small, but uh, we noticed some free gold on some of them. It's really, really, really small. We'll see. Uh, see if any of the samples turn out to be good. What we're going to do is we're going to do a quick pan. Uh, we just pulled some material off bedrock and uh, we're going to pan it out and see if there's anything inside. So this would be a perfect spot to do some crevicing but we don't have uh, a whole lot of time. we got a quite a drive back so we'll definitely be back here and uh, we'll definitely be doing some crevicing at some point in time lots of quartz in here you can see you got some sulfides on that one Definitely got big hunks of iron pyrite in there.
All right, let's see what we got. Whoa. Look at that. Just loaded with pyrite. Wow. Huge hunks. I'm not seeing any uh, any gold or any major gold. Maybe the couple small specks, but look at that. Be nice to find where this stuff's coming from. Lots of black sands. That's awesome. All right, so we're gonna head out for the night. Uh, we're going to be doing some more prospecting tomorrow in this area and we will be back at this location tomorrow night so we'll be doing a few more pans walking up the creek a bit and seeing if we can find anything interesting yeah you definitely have some pirate on there so stay tuned for that